right, hey guys. Oh, I don't have my shirt open one sec. All right, shit's open. All right, so today we're doing some core stuff, but we're also gonna have a lot of um, variations and stuff, easier versions, so hopefully it'll be good for everyone. So we're gonna start standing and we're just gonna start doing a twist, just swinging side to side. Okay, and next we're gonna do an over the head side stretch. And then go to the other side and just do two or three seconds on each side alternating. And you want a big stretch from your hip all the way up the side of your body. Okay, we're gonna do one more thing, standing, which is going to be um, body circles. So we're gonna put our hands on our hips and then we're gonna tilt forward, down, and to the right. And then we're gonna roll around to the left and then come up left and then up right, down right, down left, and then just keep doing that. And we'll switch directions in a bit, but just keep going in this direction. Alright, now we're going to switch. So that's it there. And there's one thing, quick little like mental cue I want to go over. So you're just going to stand and you're going to squat a tiny bit as if you were going to sit in a chair, but only you're just starting to sit. And then you're going to stick your arms out in front of you. And now you want to imagine that you are holding something heavy in your hands. And as you're holding something heavy in your hands, like your core should turn on, like everything connected to your arm, to your core, to your legs should kind of turn on to compensate. And this like mental effort of engaging our core, even though we don't, we don't literally need to engage our core, we just hold our hands in front of us. But we want to be doing that kind of thing the entire time we're doing core exercises because um, then we'll be using our core muscles. <laughs> so just try and think of that as we're going through this. Okay, so <clears throat> now we are going to do a forward fold. So just fold over in half, can allow for a slight bend in the knee. You wanna just fold over and hang and try and get a stretch in your hamstrings, which is like under your butt. And if you can touch the mat, that's good, but you can also put your hands on your thighs or your legs. And then we're gonna come all the way down into a plank. And now I wanna say because we're going to be doing so many core moves today, if we're in plank or something, remember, you can come to your knees. That's perfectly fine too. Come to your knees um, if you're getting tired. And the other thing is uh, you probably will get tired during some of these exercises. And 
try to just uh, like take a break and come back to it if that happens. So for now we're in plank. Just a few more seconds to warm up. And then we're going to come down to a child's pose. So you're on your knees, sitting back, your arms are extended out in front of you. And try and crawl your fingers forward a little bit so that you can feel a stretch in your shoulders. You can rest your forehead on the mat if you want. And this is another good pose to remember if you're really tired at any point, you can just like go into child's pose, catch your breath, and then rejoin the class after. All right, now we're gonna do a forearm plank. Remember you can go on your knees, but we're just gonna hold this for a little bit to warm up our core. And I'm just gonna to rotate to the, oops, to the side to show you something. So when we're in plank or forearm plank, we wanna avoid like just sagging. You wanna to try to remember to engage the core and it's actually fine if it's not like a perfectly straight line. It's fine if you come up a little bit. The idea is you wanna be engaging all your core muscles and squeezing in while you're in plank. So just hold. Plank a few more seconds. Okay, then come to your knees. And we're going to come all the way onto our backs. And then when you're on your back, go onto your elbows as well and lean back. And we're going to do bicycles. So you just start like this, just as you would on a bicycle. And what we're going to do with this is try to bring our legs back a little more intentionally. So instead of just like kind of flopping around, we want to actually, when we're at the back, we want to squeeze that knee like closer to the chest. So slow it down and try and focus on that sensation a little bit. And you'll notice that makes it significantly harder. Okay, and then we're going to relax for a second now and lie down onto our backs. And then we're going to do bridges. So this is not as big of a core exercise. So we're getting a little break, doing a nice stretch. So you just are squeezing your butt up into the bridge. Then we're gonna go down and come back up. Hold that, three, two, one, release it again. And now try with one leg kicked in the air, try to do a bridge. And then come back down, up again, and down, and up again and down. Then we're going to swap legs up and down and then up again and down and then one more up and down. Okay. Now we're going to go back into plank and again you can go into your knees I'll show it on the knees to start to see what that would look like and we're gonna do something similar to the bicycle so what we're gonna do is bring our knee up to our chest again 
And again, you want to be thinking um, about like squeezing as much as you can once your knee is there. You're squeezing it in. Okay, so these are mountain climbers. So now I'll show it if you're in plank. Five more seconds. Okay, now come onto your knees. And we're going to come down onto our stomachs, kicking our legs out. So we're just lying flat on our stomachs. And your hand should be under your shoulders. And you're gonna lift your head and chest up a little bit using the muscles of the back to come into a cobra. Then you're going to go down. Now we're going to do that again, except instead of having our hands under our shoulders, we're going to put our hands back um, towards our butt and the palm should be down. So your arms are straight down at your sides, palm down. And we're going to lift our chest and head in the same way. We're also going to lift our palms and we're going to lift our feet to hover. Now, for three, two, one, and then release. Keep your palms down at your sides on the ground. Now, this is really good because uh, in addition to using like our abs and stuff, we want to be mindful of using like back muscles and stuff when we're doing core work. So we're gonna do this one more time. So we're gonna go into it now. Hold it for five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Release. And then we're going to flip over, roll over off our backs. And we're going to, we're going to come into a boat pose. So to do that, hands are forward, you lift your feet up. If it's too hard to lift the feet up, you can leave your feet down and just lift your body up. And the lower you put your body, the harder it's going to be. So you can have your feet down and your body quite high if that's what you if that's going to work for you. And then from boat pose, we're going to shimmy left and right. And as we're doing this, the sides of our abdomen should be turning on to do that work. So just left and right, left, right, left, right, Left, right, remember to take a break if you need to. Okay, then we're gonna come to a cross-legged seat for a moment just to breathe. Now we're going to go into boat once again. And this time, we're gonna clasp our hands together and we're going to twist to the left, tap the ground or come near, and then twist to the right, placing our hands near the ground, and then left and right. Just keep repeating that, twisting. Okay, we're gonna come onto our back now, and then 
lift our legs in the air so our knees are right over our hips and our legs are out at 90 degrees. And then from here, we're going to um, lift our, um, we're going to lift our body again as if we're in boat. And then we're going to twist, touch right hand to left knee, twist and touch left hand to right knee. So you're sort of coming in and out of like that upper body boat as you're doing this. Five more seconds. Okay. Now we're going to roll up into cross legged seat and we're going to put our feet together to sit in cobbler's pose. To our final plank. Remember also that you can go on your knees and um, oh actually we are all going to go on our knees for this uh, and we're going to oh, oh you, you sorry you can say a plank you can go in plank or you can go on your knees and what we're going to do is lift one leg, I'm lifting my right leg, and then lift your opposite arm, so lift my left arm, and then you're going to touch knee to elbow, and then back into plank. And now I'll switch sides, so right arm, left leg, knee to elbow, and then back. We're going to go, keep repeating both sides. I'll just show it on my knees for a bit so you can see what that looks like. So we're going to do 10 more, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, and stop. And we're going to come onto our back now. Nearly done, just a couple more. So here we're gonna do scissors. So we're gonna kick up our right leg straight in the air, and then we're gonna lower it. As we lower it, we lift our left leg to replace it and then keep alternating. And as you're doing this, you can introduce like a large bend in your knee. Basically, the more bend you have, the easier it's gonna be. So bend your knees if you need to. And another thing I want you to do is actually like place your hands on your stomach and like press in your stomach with your hands to see how the muscles are engaging and see if there's anything you can do to engage more muscles. Okay, we're going to do 10 more. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, then we're going to stop, you're going to stay laying down with your legs straight out, and then we're going to do our final exercise, so for this we're going to roll up a little bit, 
to rest on our elbows again. And then we're going to lift our knees up. So the knees are over our hips, legs are at 90 degrees. And then you're just going to press out and then you're going to pull them back in and kick your legs out and pull them in. And as you're doing this, imagine you're like using that machine at the gym. I forget what it's called. Oh, leg press. <laughs> so you're actually try trying, to, trying to imagine like your feet are on a plate, a flat plate, and that plate is being pushed out and coming in with your feet. So we're going to do 10 more, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. So come into a cross-legged seat. Now we're gonna do one more plank because I lied earlier. So <clears throat> come into a plank. Now we're gonna hold for a minute, but I don't have a clock, so you're at the mercy of how good my internal timing is. And if you quit early, it's okay, kind of. Just, it's okay, just hold as long as you can. <laughs> Hey, that feels like a minute, so there we go. Good job. Everything is done. So hopefully you took breaks and came back. Uh, that's the way to go, I think. I find like these exercises and videos for like ab exercises, I mean like one person can like do an exercise like two or five times long as another person, so you really need to be able to like kind of self-adjust um, and just get used, be, uh, get in the habit of like being able to have like resting poses or easier variations you can go to, re-get, re-catch your breath and rejoin. But I had a great time. I hope you had a great time. But that is all. <clears throat> See you guys.